we selected these readings for this Mass for the Filipino people in part because it's that famous passage of Jesus who quiets the seas when he's in the boat, but also because there is for us here always the opportunity, the challenge, the storms that come up in our own lives, and certainly for those who've been impacted here at the university because family members or friends have been impacted in the Philippines, it's worth hearing again the great consolation that Jesus offers to all of us. What do we have in this image then, in this story? We have a sense of contrasts, really. There's the disciples who are really quite upset they're anxious, they're nervous, they think that the boat that they're in is going to capsize and they're all going to drown. And then we have the other side of the story, Jesus, who is calm, who is not anxious, in part because he himself knows that God has command over the waves and the waters. And so when we hear these words of this parable in Mark, when we hear the challenge, quiet, be still. Sometimes that resonates in us deeply and other times maybe not as clearly. Like, for example, when we think about the millions of people who've been affected in the Philippines, when we think about the people in the United States who have friends in the Philippines or in other countries in the world. So what does Jesus in his message of quiet and be still, how can that help us in our prayers and solidarity with the people of the Philippines today. Well, you know, I think that Jesus offered two concrete things to the disciples in the boat that night when it was being rocked by the waves. He offered consolation and he offered compassion. And I think that in our prayers today, in our response as a university to the tragedy in the Philippines, in the world's response, that's about what we're able to offer as well. Words and prayers of consolation and acts of charity and compassion. We may not be able to make the distance of travel to the Philippines to help remove debris or to help clear roads or to help family members who've been separated from their loved ones find each other. We certainly may not be able to perform the great work of mercy in helping to bury the dead but we certainly are able in our small way here at the university to offer our prayers and to offer our solidarity and to offer our support. If in that small way, then we can participate in the mission of the church and the mission of this institution to help rebuild in the world, then I think we'll always live in the Lord's peace.